Question. Question. What is the name of the elderly man who tells fortunes in Toad Town? That's Merlin. He's the guy who lives in the house with the spinning roof. Um, I don't know if it's an engine or a motor that spins that roof, but he must pay a lot for electricity or gas to keep that thing from spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Not worth the bill, in my opinion. Then let's go to the question. Question. How many colors of Yoshi's did you see in Yoshi's Village? Totally unintuitive answer, it's six. I want to answer ten in all honesty, even though it's not the answer, because you have, especially in Yoshi's Island, even Yoshi's Island, you have your eight Yoshis you use throughout the big regular levels, and then you have the white to the black Yoshi for the extra levels. Not intuitive answer at all, but the answer is six. Then let's go to the question. Question. How would the Yoshi kids in Yoshi's Village describe sushi? Awesome. Dude, those rats come back here. You, you went into the jungle, you want. That's not necessarily sushi. I totally did a really bad sushi impersonation. Don't hire me to do sushi impersonations, okay? Then let's go to the question. Question! What building is across from the Toad Town Post Office? That's Merlin's house. Merlin has the distinct advantage of living right next to the post office. No real advantage for him though, shipping still costs the same. 52 questions. Then let's go to the question. Question. What kind of card do you get when you defeat Lee at the dojo in Toad Town? You have to remember Lee is the uh, duple ghost, which means you get the second degree card. Fifty-three. Then let's go to the question. Question. What color is the brooch that pinches Peach wears? The answer to this is blue. Oh, chances are you don't remember this detail, and you guess either blue, red, or pink, and then you either get it right or wrong, and you're like, Fudge. That's when you just guess, and then you get it right, and then you're like, Yes, instead of Fudge. Then let's go to the question. Question. Who gave you miracle water and flower fields? It's the lily pad, or you could just remember it as lily. But you'll still, lily pad, lily. Works out really well. Fifty-five. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Lackister's girlfriend? Lacky Lulu. I love naming conventions in the Mushroom Kingdom. Every single creature is basically named with a prefix or suffix that matches their uh, species type. So, and even better, lack Lackister or Lackister is a uh, Lackitu, which means like, for example, if I were to take Cooper and give him a cloud, all of a sudden he'd be like Lacky Cooper. <laughs> then let's go to the question. Question. How do you make the pipe leading in the Toad Town Playroom come out? You hit a tree. One time where violence against trees where smacking on a tree gets you into a secret place. Somewhere to the Legend of Zelda, except you don't have to go into a basement of an old guy's house and have him yell at you and pay him to replace his door. Then let's go to the question. Question! Among the following, who is said Club 64? There is a pop diva. Composer, no, there's a beer writer, and uh, there's no dancer. 58, we're almost done. Woohoo! Then, let's go to the question. Question! Which of the following do Shy Guys never do? They never sing. You have Shy Guys that dance, and Shy Guys indeed run away. We can remember Trippy, who liked tripping whenever he ran, but they don't, they don't sing. 
Then let's go to the question. Question. What best describes the relationship between Mario and Luigi? Come on, Mario, you can get this right, huh? Your brothers. That would be embarrassing if Mario got that one wrong. That'd be an, indeed a massive brain fart. I haven't seen Luigi in a while, but how am I related to him? Okay, anyway, that was question 60, in case you didn't notice. That's as far as I can go. There are 64 questions, but the rest I can't answer until after the next chapter. We'll be doing our next monotonous task, and we're doing another one. Not one I planned on doing, but one I'm gonna choose to do anyway. The tasty recipes. Now, basically, you do this, you get a list online of all the things you have to cook. That's just the easiest way of doing it. A lot of, uh, the recipes use something with cake mix, so it's a good idea to grab a lot of cake mix. But this first recipe I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show myself getting the ingredients, and from there I'm going to, uh, off-screen getting the ingredients, but explain where I got them and what I'm using. So anyway, we're going to get an apple and cake mix. Yelp has spin attack or bump attack on it because. Uh, anyway, I said it's a good idea to have spin attack and bump attack, and I guess first attack too, so that uh, you don't have to fight them, and instead you can just bash into them and then grab your cake. But I'm already. Throw away that trash. There we go. Of course, we're going to cook an apple that we got from uh, the Haunted Mansion and a cake mix. It's the first recipe in the game. For cook an apple and some cake mix and get some apple cake. Not quite. Not quite. That's a good guess. But you get actually an apple pie. Good FP restoring ability or item or ability. Item! You eat it and you restore FP. You don't use it, you eat it. Alright, next thing we're gonna cook, we're gonna cook an egg and a cake mix. You get the egg in um, uh, Mount Rugged, and of course we all know where we get the cake mix from. So naturally, you think you combine an egg and a cake mix, you actually get a cake. Normally you can cook cake mix and you get a cake, but here we get a big cookie of deliciousness. Something I gotta point out, there's a multiple ways to make some of these recipes, like especially this one. I'm just doing them the way that I personally think it's easiest to do. So then our next uh, recipe is a goob nut and a koopa leaf. So we put together a nut and a leaf and you just kind of get this bland meal. Smells delicious. Yep, bland meal. Well, I should also point out that I'm not quite able to do all the recipes right now as well, but once again, I'm able to do almost all of them. So then, now we're going to uh, cook a herb and an egg. So you get like a delicious egg. Specifically, we're going to get a boiled egg. Be a good breakfast meal. But if the Mario Kart is around, just stays hot, you know. We get a good boiled egg and yeah. Okie dokie, more cooking time. This time we're going to be cake cooking the uh, cake mix and the coconut. Coconut cake. Well, to be more precise, she's gonna make a lollipop out of the cake mix. That cake mix is very flexible, I gotta say. Coca Pop! And I actually have the ingredients for my next meal here, so I might as well make it here. Um, uh, in this case, we're going to make a. Uh, okay, we're gonna use Wacka's Bump with the Strange Leaf. Uh, don't try cooking the Wacka's Bump with very many other things. Usually, you almost always get a mistake with Wacka's Bump. In this case, you don't. Which is nice. You will get a very good dish, actually. You'll get the Deluxe Feast. One of the best items in the game. There's still some items that heal more than that, but still. 40 HP and 40 FP. That's very good. That's very good. Smooth. And uh, we'll cook more stuff on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi. 
On the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario, will be more in the ultimate episode of Let's Play Backtrack and Extravaganza on Super Ultra Awesome Monster Jog Awesomeness. It's extreme to the max! Free hot dogs, free hot dogs! One night only, one night only! Be extreme cooking, extreme cooking, oh my gosh, look at that, fully onto that pan, oh my gosh! From the Mushroom Kingdom Station and experience some Backtrack and Extravaganza Super Ultra Awesome Monster Jog Awesomeness!